What is up you guys? I just woke up. It is at the moment 2 p.m. I know I woke up late, but we finally caught up on sleep. I'm so happy right now I'm actually about to start recording a gaming video But after that I'm basically gonna be editing all day and doing my non-negotiables for productive potheads Today's the first day of I guess productive potheads the first day of monk mode So we gotta see how we're gonna organize our day because obviously we're limited on time It's kind of like if I just got out of work but we got two extra hours because usually when I get home from work, it is four. So the plan right now is to finish this. It should take at least an hour, max, minimum 30 minutes. But let's get right into recording this video and I'll catch you guys in a bit. I just finished recording the gaming video. It is now 2.30. What I'm going to be doing right now is transferring $500 into my school's first loan. Um, that would leave us with $940 left, I believe. I mean, $990 left, I believe. Yep, submit. Payment successful. Now we owe the school's first loan $1,519. If the math isn't adding up, it is because of the interest. Now that leaves us with $990 in our bank account. Right now, in our cash app, we have $10. We're going to be adding $140. Now we have $150 in cash app for spending, and that should leave us with $850 in my bank account. Now, what am I going to do with that? If I pull out my book, $300 of that is for bills, and $200 is for my clothing brand. I am going to have a little bit left over from both of those, but I'll keep, I'll keep that saved up. Leaving us with about $300 left, because we already put $500 into debt, $100 into spending, and $500, and $50 into weed, basically. Um, which probably will be spending more than $50 on weed. But after spending weed, the rest in Cash App is going to be for spending, so... It don't really matter, but so far, not too bad. I'm happy with how I budgeted my money today. I think this is the best move, keeping my money in my bank account for the whole day when I get paid. Then the next day, I'm able to budget correctly. One of my main goals is to budget better. The reason that last week was so hard is because of how fast my money disappeared. I felt so ashamed of myself. I felt so upset because I was wondering where my money went which I didn't like. <laughs> Let's go record a video for Productive Potheads. Let's go, first one in a couple of months. Haven't done a cold shower in like a week, bro. We back on it, we back on it, fuck. I just spent $82 on three things, which honestly will last me a while. If you guys want to see what I got, go ahead and check out the Productive Potheads channel. That should be up by Monday. I also forgot to mention that I spent the $82 in my schools first, not my Cash App, because I don't know why the Apple Pay on Cash App was not working. We'll just, I guess, roll on with that and see how how much we have left it don't matter either way we spent the same amount we just spend less on schools first and more on cash app which kind of made me start this channel because i started seeing that people didn't like the workouts on the other channel people didn't like me meditating they thought it was useless so i just thought why not make another channel about the productivity part because there are many people that do believe that meditation journaling reading working out taking cold showers doing all these good habits instead of bad habits helps you in life and i truly believe so too after recording a video for productive potheads i started setting up the channel then edited the first video which is now up on the channel other youtube channels cedric's cash flow cedric's athletics and cedric's games but this is gonna be different on cedric's cash flows right now i've been showing myself do my non-negotiable but i came to realize that doing that on that channel is not the right move the non-negotiables should be done on this channel this is productive potheads to be exact the whole point of this channel is going to be sessions like these where i'm a smoke then right after show you guys what productive thing i'm doing it is now 6 33 the first video for productive potheads is uploading and right now i'm gonna go get some food because i have not eaten all day and once we come back we'll edit and upload the vlog and also do my non-negotiables this is amazing that looks beautiful this costed $12, leaving my cash app with $138 left. Can't forget the fortune cookie. 
Right now I'm actually gonna watch YouTube. I guess it's the only time I can actually get distracted. The people you're seeing on the screen are some of the people that have motivated and inspired me to do what I'm doing right now. Phase Rain obviously with Phase and daily uploading on basically three channels has made me believe that I'm able to do it as well with all the various channels I have. Dope As Yola and Eric Khan are two of the big weed tubers that I watched growing up. I never thought that weed would be able to be a profitable business but i started watching eric khan and mostly dope as yola because i saw dope as yola make some money moves yet he was faded all the time these people have showed me it's possible to be productive potheads and they are some of the content creators i wish to have on the channel obviously that is once i show that i'm able to be a productive pothead then that'll show that i'm qualified enough to have them on the podcast it says your kind nature will earn you respect amongst your peers. Once it came to nighttime, I went to Afters with my girlfriend, which costed $14, and 7 Eleven, which costed $13, as well as a $4 movie for a movie night. Alright, so right here I'm ordering two jerseys, as you guys saw from yesterday's video. I was checking them out. Uh, one of them's gonna say Cedric, one of them's gonna say my last name, Barriga. And yeah, I want to see how these come out before I get some for the homies that are going to be on the sports content. Alright, so as you guys can see right here, it's going to be every two weeks for six weeks. It's going to be $33. The total is going to be 133 That's going to be after tax and shipping. Damn, 133 after tax and shipping is crazy. Shipping is 35 bucks. Oh my god, that is crazy. Fuck is this shit getting shipped from? I'm going to have to start getting hella though like big bulks if I really want to make this worth it because 35 bucks holy that is crazy fuck it we got it though today we did spend quite a bit of money thankfully most of it was into debt 500 to be exact meaning that we spent 158 dollars on expenses after getting paid, our net worth was left at negative $18,015, but after today, we are left at negative $18,285.